My dear sisters, we are listening from the Gospel of John, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 chapter passages during this season of uh, Easter. After the washing the feet of the disciples, Jesus is supposed to have made a long speech according to the evangelist John. That's what is contained in these five chapters. In today's passage, Jesus gives us a warning and an encouragement. Warning that the world will take you. Encouragement, do not be afraid. They hated me. They could not do away with me. I conquered that. The question is, many of us are not hated because we conform to the world. We do what other people do. We sometimes do what the disciples are not supposed to do. So the world is happy, we are happy. But Jesus is not happy. Jesus did certain things which was not liked by people, so they hated him. Jesus took a preferential option for the poor, the sinners, the needy. Jesus condemned injustice. Jesus opposed all that is evil. That's why he was hated. Not simply attracting world's hatred for without any reason. So we have to ask ourselves, that's the first question. Let us be sufficiently hated by others because we belong to the Lord. Not because we are adamant and arrogant, but because we are gentle, kind, but still loyal to Jesus Christ. That's the first part. We have beautiful passages from the Acts of the Apostles. I was even thinking that I should give a number of homilies on each of these passages from the Acts of the Apostles. Today we hear about, first of all, Paul choosing Timothy. He liked Timothy not only because he was equipped for the mission, but also because of his background. He was of mixed parents, Jew and Greek. Sometimes I used to wonder at Abraham's sisters, some of our own sisters also. Sisters from Jharkhand and Odisha are asked to be ascribed in Pindu uh, province also. And then they speak perfect Tamil. I can't expect how they are speaking without any accent of the Tamil. So some of our sisters also opted for Vijayawada uh, province. Uh, they speak perfect Telugu. And then those who are working in the north, in Orissa, sisters of St. Anne Bangalore, they also speak those languages. Openness to the mission, to learn a language, belonging to the people, this mixed uh, birth was an asset to St. Paul, so he specially chooses him. He can be one with the Jews, one with the Greeks, that's it. Even if we are not mixed by birth, we should become mixed. That's what the Lord asks us. Becoming all things to all people, not alienating anybody. I will identify with these people, at least speak a few words. That's what the Lord says. And then we also heard in today's passage, they wanted to go to your place and then the spirit of Jesus did not want them to go. Going to places where the Lord wants us. And again, in a vision uh, to Paul in Macedonia, come over to Macedonia and help us. And when we have seen the vision, immediately we sought to go on to Macedonia. Not going to places where Jesus doesn't want us. The Spirit of God doesn't want us. And going to places where people are more in need of the grace of God, consolation, comfort of the Lord. What a wonderful message the disciples are giving. Sometimes we like to remain in places where we want to be, not the Spirit of the Lord wants us to be. 
we want to stick on to certain places, positions, paths. My dear sisters, let us conform our life to the life of Jesus and be sufficiently faithful. Let us have openness of identifying with people and becoming a mixture in ourselves. Let us not go to places where the Lord doesn't want and let us go to places where the Lord wants us to go. May the grace of this Eucharist give us the necessary encouragement. Amen.